Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to sell things on eBay. eBay is one of the best platforms online to sell practically anything. All you'll need to do is go onto ebay.com. Once on ebay.com, if you already have an account, you are going to sign in. If you don't have an account, you will sign up by tapping on sign up in the top left hand corner. Once you are signed up, you are going to tap on sell in the top right hand corner. So let's do that real quick. After you have tapped on sell, you will be redirected to this page. But before tapping on list and item, I want you to scroll down so that you can read a bit more about eBay listing. With eBay, you will be able to list up to 200 items for free every month. And after that, you'll be charged, I think, about 35 cents, as you can see right here, per listing. So it is very affordable. Now, all you'll need to do is scroll back up and you're going to tap on list and item. Once you have tapped on list and item, you can tap on the search bar right here and you can type in the type of item that you're planning to sell. So let's say for example sake, I'm planning to sell my iPhone 12 mini. I could simply type that in right here, then select iPhone 12 mini. Then you could also select the memory. And the reason why you're doing this, this will help with the listing. And this will also give you an idea of the price range that the stuff that you're planning to sell on eBay is being sold for. So you'll get an estimated price. Once you have done that, you're going to tap on search right there. After you have tapped on search, you'll be led to another page and you'll be able to fill out some more credentials. Then you're going to simply tap on the category that you'd like it to go in. And you can see right here, related listing from sellers. I'll see an example right there. So you can see if you see a match, I could simply tap on it or I could tap on continue without match. But I'm going to assume that you see a match, so I'll simply tap on it right there. Then you can see you have selected another seller's listing to help draft your items. Photos from the original seller's listing can't be reused. So I don't want to reuse that and you'll see select the condition of your item. And I'll select used. Then I'm going to tap on continue to listing. Once you have tapped on continue to listing, you will be led to this dashboard. And on this dashboard, I'll show you what to do next. So you can edit your title. At the moment, you can see my title right there. Then you're going to scroll down and you can see the conditions. If you would like to change anything, you can simply tap on that. And you can also see that they give you some credentials right here that you can fill in. Improve your chances of selling by adding more details about your items. And you can see right there, I could add this. When you scroll down, you can start adding images. So I'll add a few images. So I'm going to tap on add from computer. Once I've tapped on add from computer, I'm going to simply add a few images. Let's say these two images. So let's do that real quick. I'll tap on that. Then I'll add a second image right here. So I'll tap on this once more. And I'll add a second image. Just for example sake. So I'll add two images as you can see right there. After adding the images, you're going to simply scroll down. And here you could simply fill out the description. So you could go into more detail describing your item. After you have finished doing that, you can scroll down and from here you could set your starting bid. So where would you like the auction to start? So let's say for example, $180. That's the lowest I'm, I'm going. So I'll select 180 right there. After selecting 180, you can see allow offers. Buyers interested in your item can make you offers. So my minimum price that I'll consider would be $200. So I'm going to type in $200 right there. So if someone were to come in with $200 minimum, I would accept that offer. And you can see schedule listing start time. So this is when you'd like the auction to start. So you can see right there, 
if you would like to change the date you can simply select the date that you would like to change it to and if you would like to increase the duration you can increase the duration you can also set up the start time as you can see right here and if you would like to set an auction reserve price you can do that by simply tapping right there but there's a fee which varies based on the amount entered it applies whether or not your item sells so i would simply leave that as is you can also select the auction duration as you can see right there seven to ten days tends to sell better then you'll scroll down and if you'd like to set a buy it now price means that if someone comes onto my listing and sees the iphone mini and wants to purchase it right away they'll be able to do that so i'll simply toggle that on and i'll set my buy you now price at 252 if you don't want someone to purchase it immediately you can simply toggle this off if you only want to use the auction once you have done doing all of that, you can scroll down and you'll see ship your item, provide them package weight and dimension to calculate. And to do this, you can simply go onto Google search and you can search for the weight of your item or you can measure it on a scale if you do. And then you can scroll down if you want to offer a local pickup, you could simply tap right there and you could offer local pickup. And you can also see right here the handling time so if you would like to change anything in this section you could simply tap on change and from here you can change the handling time so if you would like it to be same business day one business day two business days or three you can do that you can also change the country and region and you can scroll down and if you would like to accept returns you can simply toggle it on right there once you're finished doing all of this, you can simply scroll down and from here you could preview your listing. So I could tap on preview and you can preview how it looks at the moment. So let's get a quick look. So you can see it right here. This is how my listing looks at the moment. So scrolling down, you can see it right there. So that is how it looks right now. Once everything is there liking, you could simply tap on list it now and that's it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. And by the way, you can also tap on the settings cog in the top right hand corner right there. And that will carry you to the listing preference again quickly where you can make any other changes. And thanks for watching. Hope you found this helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.